Hey guys, what's up? Code Red Mining. Uh, so as you guys know, yesterday Nice Hash released the 100% unlock for LHR cards. Um, I've, I've had a few cards on it. They've all been successful. Um, 80 Mega Hash on 37 Ti, 120 on the 3080 Ti, 50 on version 1s with the newest drivers, 50 on version 2s with the newest drivers. Um, so according to the mega hash that they're showing it is correct now there is some speculation on whether the unlock is real or not i th i think it is I, I i find it hard to believe that they would do something that's stupid i mean people would litter it would literally ruin their company if they did something to where they would like lie about the you know lhr locker like or they're secretly dual mining or something like that and it's showing that you're getting the full hash rate but secretly you're just dual mining and they're paying you in bitcoin I just don't see that happening. I, I feel like that would be a huge mistake. I'm sorry about my voice. I'm just sick again. I have I got the old Rona, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so, okay. So, um, this morning I heard NB Miner now has one. And I'm a fan of NB, NB Miner. I've used NB Miner in the past. So, I know it's a trusted uh, miner. So, I have no problem doing it. Um, it is released on Windows and Linux. Uh, but I don't like adding it to Hive OS until Hive OS releases itself. I've done that before with other miners, and it's just messed up my entire entire Hive OS rig. Uh, so I will just wait for Hive OS to release it naturally, which should be in a couple days, and it may be sooner because everybody's so excited about it. Uh, but I want to go ahead and walk you guys through uh, how to do NB miners so you can get your LHR unlock and not have to mine a nice hash, and you can support the pool the pool of your choice choice, which I suggest you support Ezil. Uh, so okay. Uh, you're going to just basically Google NB Miner. You're going to go to their GitHub. You're going to scroll down. We're going to download NB Miner. Boom, you can see I already downloaded it. Alright. Once you download it, uh, you're going to go ahead and extract it. Uh, so, you can see here. Here's my other. I have some older versions. Uh, here, let's see here. NB Miner. So, here's the newest one. Okay, so I'll show you. So. I suggest that you make a folder on the desktop or just extract it directly to the desktop because you need to add admin privileges to the miner. Uh, and it's just, I found it easier to attach admin privileges to the miner when you just do it directly on the de desktop. So let's go ahead and look here. So once you guys install and extract and be miner, uh, go ahead, come down here, or right there, find the README. We're going to pull up the README. So first off let's scroll down let's make sure everything's right feature eth hash 100 percent unlocker added for both windows and linux run nb miner with admin privileges to set a hundred percent lhr unlock test and verified on drivers 5 12 15 for windows so you need to make sure you have 5 12 15 on windows not any other driver except that so my suggestion is you just go nivea drivers all because if you just go to the initial thing you need the adv official advanced search so you're going to go advanced search 30 series i just put 30 ati uh so if you put standard you're gonna make hmm it's not there so you need to go to dch and then that will provide a couple of the 5 12 15s i just did the game ready one uh i'm sure it doesn't matter but you, it needs to be one of these 5 12 15s i chose the game ready i did not test the studio driver so i can confirm that the game ready one is correct so after you install that do i always perform a clean install not ddu i don't ddu uh unless i'm having like big time issues so i just you know do the perform clean install through their thing don't install the geforce experience just install the driver keep that crap off your computer it'll end up changing your drivers and crap and annoying you and just taking up back room space so okay you guys did that all right so let's follow this some more okay um let's see where did it say so it says i know i know you need to do this so you need to have admin pri privileges for the miner oh yeah here we go run nb miner with admin privileges to get 100 percent unlocked how do you do that so first let's go up here actually I lied. Let's go to the folder. We're going to have this ETH one right here. So I'm going to mine to Ezil. So Ezil has this great page where you go, to, you go start. You choose. I'm going to be mine on Windows. I want to mine to USA East. Uh, I'm going to be doing ETH plus Zil. Or you can do just ETH or ETC or ETH plus Zil. 
Uh, I'm going to be continuing to get ETH payouts and ZIL payouts. You can do Bitcoin payouts, which is awesome. Um, I haven't done that yet. Uh, I, I just want to keep mine in ETH and ZIL uh, individually. Uh, so you basically add in your wallet, you add in your ZIL wallet, or you can do just ETH and add in your ETH wallet. And I have a link below uh, for you guys to follow to EZIL. Um, we each get, I think, like 10% off fees for a few weeks. It's nothing insane, but, you know, it helps. Uh, every every bit helps. So um, then you add your rig name. Mine's called Big Daddy. No reference to, uh, oh, shoot, the game. The Big Daddies and the Little Sisters, that game. Such a such good storyline. I never played it, but I listened to the story. Um, some guy did like a very detailed story on a line, and the storyline and that whole lore of that game is really cool. Bioshock. Bioshock. So, okay, moving on, sorry. Uh, so, we're going to be using NB Miner, which, like I said, easel has got this nice little thing. Now, I would not click download the miner. I would have already downloaded the miner myself directly. We're just going to copy this so it, it it gets it it writes it all out for you we're gonna copy that boom go back to our folder we're gonna right click on eth and then you're gonna paste it in like that and replace that so then from there so it'll look like this minus minus my unlock so I've added these which I'll show you guys how to do um, so we need to make sure it has admin privileges the best way to do that is to right click on this go to properties highlight this right here copy paste and then you need to add the weird slash right there it's the other way but that's what makes it if you don't do that then it won't work um, so uh, I, like I said I've been messing with this for a little bit now not too long um, I, like I said I was slightly familiar with MB minor I'd used in the past but I had never did it with admin privileges uh, so I went ahead and I was like, well, I'll just set, m I want the, app I have, I want the lock core clock. And if we look at the readme, so let's go down here. According to their things, if you want to set locked core clock, you need to set it at 1500. I would not do these. I would just ignore these, uh, on your, I would just do lock core clock. You'll get better. It'll be like having an absolute core clock or, you know, lock core clock on T-Rex minor. It'll just give you better, um, I guess, uh, power limit settings. Is usually what ends up benefiting from using lock core clock. Um, so I first did, um, what was I did dash dash core clock. That's not correct. It just wants you to do dash core clock at 1500. Uh, then I want to do my memory. I did dash m clock at 1300, but it doesn't want the at. It just wants 1300. Um, I did have the power limit in, but I decided because you need to change the power limit so much uh, to get the correct settings because these LHR lockers use a lot of power that we need to adjust. You, I want to be able to adjust the power. Um, I suggest you use MSI Afterburner. You make sure you have a, a fan curve enabled. As you can see, uh, my fan is never lower than 50%. And to get rid of these little dots, so you can like add one in here. So where where the hell did that just go? So you click on it, you click delete, delete. Hang on, now it's gonna be dumb on me. Oh no, where'd my curve go? Frick. Hang on. There, let's just cancel that. You get the point. You need to make a diagonal. You need to. So if mine are above. I usually keep, if my things go above 55, the fan should be at 100%. Um, I prefer this interface of MSI Afterburn. It's the it's the Cyborg one. That's just the one that I used for the very first time, so it's the one I've always stuck with. Uh, but obviously, you know, there's tons of different versions. You guys can use whichever one you want. So, okay. Um, so we set that stuff. We're going to click File, Save, obviously. X out of this, X out of this. Let me exit out. So I have this going already. So let's go ahead. We're going to... So this is the big one. When you start this miner, you want to right-click, run as administrator. You can see it right here. There's my core clock. There's my mem clock. You can see Enable LHR and Locker. Enable LHR and Locker. And that's Device 0, Device 1. 
let it do its things. And just keep in mind the 3060 is what's running my PC right now, so it's running three monitors. It's recording right now, so it's not going to be 50 mega hash. But I confirmed, I like took everything down that it does run at 50 mega hash when it doesn't, when it isn't doing anything. And then you'll see that the 3080 Ti does. So here we'll just see. So let's give it a minute here. So it's at 83. So let it do. Let's let it do its thing. Let, let's let it do its thing. Go ahead and minimize this. Oops. So you can always check. So like, you if I put this at zero and then I and it'll it'll set it automatically. I like keeping my temp limit at 75. I just don't prefer any of my GPUs to ever go over 75. My GPUs are going over 75. There's probably something going on, and I should probably address it. You can see, okay, see, we're climbing, 111 mega hash. 296 watts is nothing to uh, scoff at. That is a lot of, lot of power, and I may adjust it a little bit more uh, and try and narrow it down. But currently, right now, I mean, I think that's kind of just the best option that we got. Um, and in these these all you know t-rex is going to come out their own uh you know everybody's going to come out their own and then the big thing is going to be getting the power limit down so there we go 121 mega hash here let me minimize these other pages let's see if we can get the 3060 up some it's not going to go up all the way just strictly because of uh yeah. sorry i got people messaging me about nb minor already oop sorry so here, let's minimize this. Now, well, here, you guys will see me recording. Here, let's we'll put that right there. I'm trying to minimize everything to get the 3060 up here some. I know it does its full thing. Here, let's maybe crank the power. Give it a bit more power since it's having to do a lot right now. And it's my main graphics card. The 3060 is more than enough for my main PC. I could stick a 3090 in there. I have 3090s. I could stick a 3080 Ti in there. But I'd rather those be mining at full mega hash all the time versus, you know, cutting in and out like my 3060 does. So, well, it it will get up there. I just don't think it's going to because I'm recording. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If there is any questions, please ask them in the comments. I released the nice hash one on how to use their OC tuner yesterday. Um, yeah, so come mine with me on Ezil, follow the link below. Um, I also added recently, because B-Stock has a ton of 3080 Ti's, they have a ton of LHR cards, I added my EVGA associate code, so every time you guys buy something on there, I get just a tiny bit back in EVGA bucks, it's nothing special. Um, but it, it's a neat little thing, um, I, used, I usually do it for the GPU Discord, I, give them my, I usually use theirs when I check out. Uh, so yeah, fall, come mine with me on Ezil. You can do the ETH plus Zill. You can do BTC. Uh, it, I mean, it's awesome. So uh, and then I assume here in a couple days, HiveOS will release uh, their own version. Uh, HiveOS will get NB Miner. Some people will install NB Miner on HiveOS themselves. I do not like to do that. I'd rather just wait a couple days, and I'll run it on Windows here for now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.